Why does um, the, um, the butterflies stay in the cocoon for how many days? My name is Jeremy Hamburger and I am a graduate student with the Department of Entomology here on campus and I study insects. Insect Ambassadors is a graduate student run and volunteer organization. We're basically just trying to show people why insects are awesome. So this here is a caterpillar. This is called a tobacco hornworm and it is getting really close to starting to become a beautiful moth, which we can see here, which is called a sphinx moth. Caterpillars don't start out looking like this. They start out as really, really tiny things like this, which are many, many times smaller, and they eat food and eat food and eat food, just like the book, The Very Hungry Caterpillar. They get bigger, they get bigger, and eventually they're ready to transform into a butterfly or a moth. Now that process is called metamorphosis. And what this guy will eventually do is he will transform into this thing right here, which is called a pupa or a cocoon, Butterflies will sometimes make what's called a chrysalis, and they will stay in here and, slow, and transform over time into a butterfly or a moth. Now, most butterflies and moths stay inside of this thing for anywhere between five and uh, 21 days. But some of them, if they're in really harsh places like deserts, will stay in there for up to three years, waiting for rain or the good prime conditions to come out and feed on plants and lay eggs. And these moths, the tobacco hornworm, will live for anywhere up to a couple weeks to a month, depending on how good the conditions are. And what they do is they come out, they find a mate, and then they lay eggs and start the whole cycle over again.